As most of you know, yesterday was Day of Silence. And first off, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Amber, if you didn't know, and BZ the Zero here. And my best friend, one of my best friends, is a lesbian. First off, let me also tell you, I was born and raised in the Bay Area. So you're probably thinking, oh, San Francisco, of course you're going to, you know, stand up for gays and support gays. You know, because I'm not a narrow-minded person, I stand up for those people. I love any type of person. You can call me a pansexual. A pansexual is basically a person that loves anyone for who they are, not so much for what's in between their legs. And first off, I'd like to tell you that I moved from the Bay Area. I moved away to be with my mom. And I moved to Colorado, where right at this time, um, gay marriage is illegal. It's not in this state, which bums me out pretty much every day because it's like the, all these narrow minded people, the, the government. Okay, I'm an anarchist. I just believe that the government, so much for what they help us with, they also are keeping things from us. And some things we're not meant to know. But, by the way, it's pretty shitty. Um, I thought America was um, land of the free. Okay? So, okay, I live in a little town called Kremlin, Colorado. Uh, if you try looking for it on the map, I guarantee it'll take you about 15 minutes to find it. It is very small, there are many narrow-minded people, and to come here to find, I found many people that aren't narrow-minded, but I still did Day of Silence alone, because the people who were born and raised here, or lived here for so many years, they have never even heard of Day of Silence, which is completely weird to me, because I am... I, this is my second year. This was my second year doing Day of Silence. Day of Silence, as you know, was yesterday, April 15th, every year. And I tend to do it every year. The only thing that sucks is at my school, I don't have school on Fridays. And it lands on a Friday every year. And I really want to do it at school. But, you know, people at my school, I guess they think, like, I'm lesbian. or Which I don't have a problem with them thinking I'm lesbian. That actually, that flatters me. Not, I'm not being sarcastic either right now. That flatters me that people think I'm lesbian. Because lesbians are one of the most strongest women I've ever met. My friend Angela Madigan is a lesbian. She is the most kick-ass chick you will ever meet. She has got me through so much stuff. And um, my friend, Katie Bear, she had just done a video about her view on Day of Silence. And what is preposterous is that one of her French teachers at school from my... Um, former school had said this is stupid you guys are stupid for doing this like basically like day of silence is stupid okay now you're thinking what the hell is day of silence sorry for the longest intro probably ever till I got to the point day of silence is a day where you pretty much stay silent for a, a long period of time usually for most people do it for the period of time of school for me I did, I did it as long as I could I slipped a couple times, but I got back up on that horse, and I just kept trucking. Oh, what? But, you know, this is a very serious view of mine, and, okay, so basically it's a day where you stay silent for all those that were never heard because they were bullied for being gay, lesbian, transgendered, or bisexual. You were born the way you are, and there are so many people that go out there and say, it's a choice. You're not born gay. It is a choice to be gay. Maybe it's a choice to come out and not care what all these narrow-minded people have to say, all these homophobes have to say about you, because the homophobic people are probably the most insecure people in the world. I'm sorry, but it's very true. The Most of the homophobics that you see in high school now, I'll guarantee you, about 35% of them will come out to be homosexual in the next 10 years. It pisses me off when people are so narrow-minded that
they they have never met a gay person before. People that are racist or prejudiced, they in my town, half these people probably never encountered themselves with an African American before, but they still tend to use the N word. And you know what? It pisses me off. Because I have black friends, that doesn't give me a right to say it either. Be, even if you're black, I don't think you should have a right to say it. Because it's just, it, it's learned, it, it's also like, you know, it's cool, I guess. If you want to say it, go ahead, be my guess. It, it all it all depends on how you're saying it. It's like, what's up, no, no, you know. But if the, you're like, dude, that over there, blah, 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 crack a joke. That is uncalled for. Because I would love for people to step in my old town or step where they have never stepped before and say that and try not getting jumped. Day of Silence is a wonderful day not for only the community of lesbian, gay, transgendered, and bisexuals, but for the community of anyone who has ever been bullied. Everyone's been bullied. Most bullies become bullies because they were bullied. Point blank. It's true. I love anyone for who they are. And I know many people who who have been bullied because they look different or act different. Maybe those are some of the most coolest people that are going to get somewhere with their life because they're not like everyone else. I'm not like anyone else here. And honestly, I love being the freaking outcast. If I get hate, I'm not getting hate really because I don't think anyone has enough balls to stand up to me and say, hey, you're different. I don't like that. Because, really, you don't want to mess with me. And especially if I hear you saying something that I don't want to tolerate and I don't want to hear. Anything, uh, racial slurs or um, you being a homophobic and slurs, especially towards, um, you know, okay, for instance. The guys that say, I don't have a problem with gays. But if a dude comes up and hits on me, we got a problem. One, let me tell you something. It's just like being straight. You're not going to like everyone because they're the sex you like. Let's say I was lesbian. I don't like every single chick. I'm not going to be interested in every single chick. I'm not going to go after every single chick out there. And then people start um, another dilemma people go through. They're like, well, African Americans um, go you can they get freedom rights now and then people are like yeah but it's not a choice for your skin color you're born that way y you were born gay okay you are there's sci it's scientifically proven it uh, testosterone and um estrogen i think that's what it is you know um in the brain the the chemical balances the higher you are you know girls might have less hormones so they're attracted to girls guys might have estrogen it happens. They're attracted to boys. And to get on the... Okay, I was raised a Pentecostal. Um, I went to church for about three straight years of my life. Then I moved in with my father. And I didn't go to church much. And But it was always Pentecostal church when I went. Which I didn't know what it was called until I was much older. Now, Pentecostal. If you've ever went to a church, they probably make fun of us, you know. Like... Holy, holy, like we're the ones who think you touch someone, you're going to heal them. And, you know, that's what I was raised. Um, basically, we have freedom of religion. So we should be able to have freedom of love. It's called peace. And you think that being gay, stupid, or that's just dumb, or calling someone a faggot, or saying that's so gay, you think, oh, well, they're just um, over knocking this. Like, they know we don't mean it. Like, really? Because you could come up with a lot better slang than that. Just saying. And honestly, it makes you look stupid. It makes you look like a total idiot when you use that type of slang. Like, sorry, but it does. Um, Day of silence. I walked around town. I had a shirt that said love, and it was in rainbow. I drew all over it, rainbow, no hate, with the H and then the number 8 and sparkles. I walked down my highway. Everybody was staring at me. And I was flattered. No, they were probably staring at me like, mm, um, I'm not that new in town. People have seen me, so that couldn't have been why. 
they stared at me like, oh, what does she think she's doing wearing that here? I smiled at each and every person that stared at me. I'm, I met grandparents last night wearing rainbow. You know, like, times have, times are just different now. People are gay. Get used to it. Day of Silence isn't stupid. It's not just for that community. Maybe you should think of everyone who's been bullied or people who have been assumed for being gay and made fun of it when they're not gay. I'm just one of those people who get flattered by it because I find gay people to be one of the most strongest set of people ever. And, you know, they're not different. That's what pisses me off, like, for being different, like, looking different. I've been bullied when I was younger because I'm a chubby girl. I've been bullied for being chubby. I've been bullied for what I wear. I've been asked, like, whoa, she's she's weird because she has holes in her ears and um, she wears band tees. She's such a hipster. I don't even know those bands, you know. I get flattered when people think that because, you know what, I love being different. I think everyone should love being different. If everyone was a little different, then maybe we'd be more the same. That's all pretty much I have to say. Um, someone texted me. Let's see. Oh. Anyways, it was Evan. Um, you know, this is a note that I, I love to debate also a lot, but it's just, this is something that I see through my eyes. And so basically, like I went back on, that you were born gay. There's no, there's no, there's nothing like guys are turning girls lesbian. Like, I mean, that can happen too. But what I'm trying to say is that, frankly, the people that I know, I have gay friends and lesbian friends. They don't try hitting on me. They might have had a crush on me, but they don't try hitting on me. Don't be scared, because you look utterly stupid and narrow-minded when you're going out there saying, look at that faggot, look at that dyke. You look freaking like an idiot. Those type of people, when you go out in the real world, you're probably going to have a boss someday that is a homosexual. You're going to have to work with people that are homosexuals. You need to grow up. Get some balls, men or women. Because love is love. Marriage is marriage. Just get used to the times. Because soon, when everyone starts realizing they were wrong for thinking that, you're going to look stupid sitting there alone with your picket sign that says, no gays, no abortion, no blah, blah. It's new times. There are circumstances where people have to do other things, where people love other people because they were born that way. I believe that there is a God, but I don't go preaching to people because you know what? I go for anybody's religion. I love that people can believe in something. Even atheists, half of my friends were atheists back in my old town. They never tried telling me you're stupid for this. I got told I was stupid for believing in God once. I, I've tried being atheist. I wish, honestly, I wish I couldn't believe in God, but I just can't. There's just something inside me that's like, you know, he's real. Maybe I'm brainwashed. Most re religious in me is brainwashed, but as long as they don't try preaching to me and like just realize, you know, there's different people. They're going to believe in different things. It's the world. It's freedom. We're land of the free. Bullshit. Soon we're not going to have any privacy. Soon, you know, the government's going to screw us all over. We're going to have probably, like, another downfall. And, like, it's like all these make a chain reaction to each other. I'm sorry, but it's true. Legalizing marijuana, gay marriage, it's all the... It's all the same, but different. Just some is stronger than others. In my view, is that if God's so perfect, which he is in my eyes, he is perfect, he cannot make a mistake. Um, if you had known, the Bible has been interpreted in many different ways that people have been brainwashed in the past because um, they, they couldn't read it in their own language. There's pages missing from the Bible. We don't even know the Bible for sure, like how many men is written by, like, yeah, it tells you. Some things we're not meant to know. Some things you just need to go with. And if God's so perfect and he doesn't make any mistakes and these people are being born 
scientifically proven that they're born gay, he's not making a mistake. 